Yeah, good morning, you two. I did a video last year on my solar attic fans. These are installed in an old wall furnace exhaust vent, so that's why the uh, fans are oriented that way. And maybe if you look up there, you can kind of see the uh, outside of the vent there. It's sort of an oval pipe. And I also have some fans down at the in the gable vents and I showed those last year but I want to go take a closer look at those so let's go down there and take a peek. Yeah, so here's a closer look at the fans in the gable vent. So what I did was I put the fans up at the top of the vent. I never installed the fans in the other end of the attic so I just wanted to see how I have this constructed. So what I did was made a little uh, wooden frame here to mount the two fans in. These are 120 millimeter 12 volt PC case fans. Two of them take a quarter of an amp total. So when I get done, I'll have two here and then two other roof vents and then two in the other gable end. So that gives me about one amp of 12 volt current that the fans are taking. And so what I have this wooden frame that fits into the uh, framing around the window and then what I did was I put this aluminum sheet underneath up to the screen and that way the air being pushed out by the fans kind of goes out and it doesn't get immediately sucked back in because the gable vent lets air in and out so I tried to get the fans up high to push as much hot air out as possible so the area underneath is open to let any air come in. So let's go take a look at the other end. We can look at all the little pieces. Here let's take a look at the parts to put my attic fans in place. Here so I got my, I guess those are my end brackets and then I've got a, I guess this is the top bracket that kind of seals around the two fans. There's these pieces. And then I have my uh, piece of sheet metal. So this goes underneath the fans. And then I have my two fans. You can see the, those have been uh, running. They're all covered with uh, crud. I have to clean off the blade. So I need to bring up a uh, brush and clean those off. Because uh, you can see they uh, they moved some air up here, and this this is while I was doing construction up here, so there was a lot of uh, dust from the uh, cellulose insulation and all the dust I was knocking off the rafters, and so yeah, and then I just have the uh, two fans run into a uh, essentially a Y cable, and then they plug in. I have a plain old Molex computer fan plug right here that feeds the uh, Y. Yeah, and there we go. We've got the uh, last two fans installed in the gable vent. Thermostat kicked on and they're both running there. So that's another 150 CFM. Should give me a total of about 600. Try to keep it a little cooler up here. Those little PC fans work pretty good. You get about a 600 CFM of air movement for about one amp of 12 volt DC power. And these are running off my solar battery banks. And just a little follow up here. This is the wireless thermometer here. And today it hit a high of 99. But if I click through here, there's the outside temperature in back right now, 93. And there's the attic temperature. It might have hit 109, but that shows you the attic ventilation and then the reflective foil that I have up in the rafters really seems to help. Before I did that, this would have been, oh, well over 130 Fahrenheit. So that's pretty good. You know, it heated up about 10 degrees above the outside temperature. And then this morning it was about 70 three inside the attic. I ran the uh, whole house fan, brought the inside temperature here down to 70, and it went up nine degrees over the day. 
a lot of that's due to the attic insulation I put in and, and also if you keep the attic 20 degrees cooler you keep the inside of the house probably a good five six degrees cooler this would have been up in the mid 80s before I put the attic insulation in just with the attic ventilation fans it dropped it down from maybe 135 to 120 and then the radiant foil dropped it another 10 degrees and then it's a combination of the both of them if I turn off the fans the temperature goes up and if I didn't have the radiant foil, the temperature goes up. The radiant foil reduces the heat gain, and then the fans blow the air that has heated up out and pull in cooler outside air. So yeah, if you found that uh, helpful, give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put that in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.